yes, we're back, baby. And today, we're going to look at a wee bit of history. We're going to look at three teams who are now based in the Niffle Intermediate League. We're going to look at a team that claims they're the oldest team in Ireland. It's not Cliftonville. We're going to look at the team who were the first winners of the Irish Cup. And we're going to look at a team who on the surface simply don't have any really noticeable, recognisable history. See how many big words have fitted in there. This video is a good one, or it's going to be a good one, and I did not expect to get out of this here, what I'm getting out of this here with the research. Limavari. Limavari in Irish, or Limavari in Ulster Scots, it means leap of the dog. Limavari's badge says on it in Latin, Non sibi seed sui. I think that's how you say it. Say it. I don't speak Latin. I think that's it. It means not for oneself, but for one's own. We're here. We're in Limavari, and we're going to talk about a very important club in Irish league history. Who'd have thought it? Anyway, Limavari, the Rosiders claim. To be formed in 1876. I'm going to talk about this. Limavari were formed following an amalgamation of two local teams, Alexander and Limavari Wanderers. However, that's not where this story begins. And to be clear in this here, there's no documentary evidence on what I am going to say next. Here we go. Alexander were formed by members of Limavari Cricket Club who wanted to play sport in the, the winter months. Similar to Cliftonville. Cliftonville were formed from cricket as well. There's no written record of the year this happened. However, it has long been held in local football circles that in 1976 Limavari created a football team called Alexander. 1876 that predates Cliftonville 1879 however as I say there is no documentary evidence of this it's just a the locals say this is what's happened okay the club badge reflects this as you can see this claim winds up rival fans it winds up Cliftonville fans because they're Ireland's oldest, 1879, and Moyola, who also claim that they were formed in 1879. So, in 1884, Alexander and Wanderers merged to form Limavari FC. And this is the date that you find on the Niffle website. So, going back to Alexander, 
Alexander were one of the founding members of the IFA and they contributed to the cost of the Irish Cup. The other founder members being Cliftonville, Avonil, Distillery, Knock, Old Park and Moyola and I think I covered a wee bit of that in the Cliftonville video that I did. So by my reckoning, Alexander are one of the reasons or they're a significant player in the creation of the Irish FA and therefore football in Ireland. That is why Limavady are so important and why we are here today. This here wee bit of the ground is like an abandoned place. So this is the old entrance to the club and it's still sitting there, it's pretty cool. It's, uh, yeah, it's well old. So let's talk about Limavari. And we'll talk about the rule of honour. It's not the biggest rule of honour. There's no massive trophies in it, but it is a roll of honour, so we're going to get through it. Their only senior honours has been the Northwest Senior Cup, and they've won it six times. But Limavari haven't been a senior team. They've mostly been an intermediate team, so that's why there isn't really senior honours. So we go into their intermediate honours. Won the B Division twice, the Niffel Championship two tw by one, once. They've won the Niffle Intermediate League once. They've won the Intermediate Cup three times. George Wilson Cup one time. Craig Memorial Cup nine times. The B Division Knockout Cup two times. And then further on in their history, Junior Honours. They won the Irish Junior Cup once. They've won the Northwest City Cup twice. And the Northwest Junior League once. So, finally in our Limavari story, we have to tell the story about Limavari being a top flight team in the Irish League. They played in the top flight of the Irish League from season 2003-2004 when the league was expanded to 16 teams. And in their first season in the top flight, they finished in 7th place. The following season, they finished in 5th above nearest rivals Corian. Tommy Wright was their manager then. When Tommy Wright left, Paul Key and John Cunningham took over. And then Paul Key left and John Cunningham took over as the, the manager himself. Um, they continued in the top flight until season 2007-2008. When again, the league had another restructure and it was reduced down to 12 teams. Limavari finished 15th that season, but they failed to obtain the necessary domestic licences to compete in the top flight. They now play in the Niffle Intermediate League and local man Paul Owens is in charge. One more thing I'll say about Lewis that is Oren Kearney, the Korean manager, began his managerial career here. This is Lewis Vare. Again, a club who has a history that has a significance in Irish League football that many of us didn't know about, including me. Next stop, the first winners of the Irish Cup. Yes, it's a bit unfortunate that Ground 2 is all locked up and we can't get into it at all. Um, big padlocks. Big gates all over the show here. But we are at Moyola. Moyola Park. We're going to chat about them. We'll just chat here at the gate because there's nothing else we can do. It's unfortunate, but sure. Here we go. Where's the wee sign? There's a wee sign, Moyola. So we feel like we're, we feel like we're there. Moyola Park. FC in Castle Dawson, formed in 1879 stroke 1880. Their badge, sorry, I have an itchy ear. Their badge says 1880, so we'll go 1880 
and they were formed by a Lord Spencer Chichester and he's got a building up the road there and maybe stop and I'll do we you'll see it coming up here on the screen um, and he's a significant person because he became the first president of the Irish Football Association so on the 9th of the 4th 1881 Moyola's greatest moment in football came they were the first winners of the Irish Cup Moyola Park the first winners of the Irish Cup it was their only success in the competition it's their only real senior success but they won the big one they won the Irish Cup so following this success in the inaugural Irish Cup Moyola chose not to enter the Irish League which was founded in the 1890 they continued just to play friendly matches and they also entered the cup competitions they entered a local league in the early 1900s a South Derry League and they continued just to play in that there and do the cups until World War II following World War II the club entered the Balamina Junior League until 1978 they won various leagues in that time and we'll, we'll touch on their honours here at the end. When the Northern Ireland Intermediate League was formed in 1978-79, Mayola embarked on a new era. They joined it and that's the level where they continue to play at to this day. There's not really much more about Mayola. You can mention names like Sammy Shields, Kenny Shields, boys that got there who are from here and who have a close affinity to the club but as a football club their history and significance is that they were part of the group that formed the Irish Football Association and the man who formed them became the first president of the Irish FA their honours are one senior trophy Irish Cup their intermediate honours are they won the Irish League Second Division once, they won the B Division Knockout Cup once, they've won the Craig Memorial Cup six times, and at junior level, they won the Balmina Junior League six times and the Irish Junior Cup twice. That's Myola. We've one more place to go. I think it's going to be the best. This is brilliant here, I've been talking to a fella from October morning, he's let me into the ground and he says ignore that, ignore that and ignore them. I thought they were like effigies, is that what they call them? Uh, but it turns out that these things are hanging up here <laughs> to scare off the birds because the birds like to come and nest in there and these things scare them off. <laughs> They're all dressed in old Tobermore training tops. <laughs> Will you see this? Final destination for today's video, Tobermore or Tubermore or Tobermore, and it means big well. That's the home of Tobermore United FC, who were formed in 1965 and they play here at Fort William Park. Now, the truth of the matter with Tobermore is there isn't any significant history bar one thing. 
one thing and it's massive, it's, it's brilliant, it's absolutely, it's class. You can make a video, a story, a documentary on this alone, but we'll come to that at the end. We're going to just talk about Tober more, okay? So, they're a young club. They've never played in senior football. And they're a village club and they play predominantly in the Niffel Intermediate, Intermediate League but they've also played in the Championship they sort of flirt with it and then come back down they're honours they've won the North West Senior Cup two occasions Intermediate honours they've won the IFA Intermediate League they've won the Second Division they've won the Craig Memorial Cup six times they've won the North West the Northern Ireland Intermediate League three times, they've won the Northern Ireland Intermediate League Cup two times, they've won the North West Intermediate Cup two times. Now, here it is, this is class. Like, really, how, how do you build this one up? <coughs> the best footballer ever to put on a boots, put on a pair of boots in Northern Ireland, played here. He played one match against Balamina United in the Irish Cup for Tobermore. Before I tell you who it is, guess. Have you guessed yet? George Best. I kid you not. Hopefully the wind's not catching the mic too much here. George Best. Played for Tober Moore. He made one appearance. Now I'm going to go in here and I'm going to read the wee newspaper article, which will also be up at the side of the screen whenever I do it. Best they played for Tober Moore. Tober Moore United made the signing of the year when the club announced this week that they had signed the signature of former Manchester United and Northern Ireland star George Best, who is on a month's loan with the South Derry Club. Tobermore United will introduce Best for his first competitive outing in the province at club level when he lines up for the South Derry side against Balamina United in the Irish Cup first round on Saturday, January 28th, and this is 1984 this article was written, at Fort William Park. <laughs> George Best. George, who left Belfast as a schoolboy to join Man United, had played only in exhibition and testimonial matches for clubs in the past in Northern Ireland. Now in his 30th year, he won 37 international caps, his last being against Hall in 1977 at Windsor Park, where the Dutch won 1-0. October Moore were guaranteed a big attendance for the visit of Balamina in this bass sponsored competition, but with best in their lineup, all roads will lead to Fort William Park on that date with a capacity attendance now created. My goodness, George Best. George Best played here. Incredible. So, Best only made one appearance. And I want to say that Tober Moore were beat 6 0. I'm going to check that and then I'll turn the video back on. I'm outside again here to get internet because you don't get internet signal in there. But Balamina beat Tober Moore 7 0 that day. So, that's us finished on our wee intermediate tour. Three clubs with huge significances in Irish football, and this one's the best, George Best. If you like that video, leave a wee comment. If you don't like it, leave a wee comment. But you have to like the video and you have to share, you have to subscribe, and let's keep doing these videos, because this one was simply George Best. <laughs>